welcome back guys here we will try to understand what are the type of exceptions uh, which we see and how this can be handled right so we'll go one by one we'll try to understand so if you look at here the built-in exceptions are exceptions which are available in java libraries okay these are all built-in exceptions i am going to talk about now right these exceptions are suitable to explain certain error situations below is the list of important built-in uh, exceptions in java so there are much more exceptions apart from what i'm going to talk about but you need to know few right so that if somebody someone will ask you in the interview you can tell the same so the first one very important one people will always ask you arithmetic exceptions they will ask you when this exceptions will come right so uh, whenever there is uh, any exceptions in your arithmetic operations right whenever you are performing the arithmetic op uh, operations and whenever there is any exceptions you will go you will get exceptions type as arithmetic exceptions the example is uh, whenever you divide any number by zero you will get arithmetic exceptions right the this is the very important one so any number let's say one you divide by zero what you will get here arithmetic exceptions in the java now array index out of bound exceptions okay i'll go through the type i have covered for every exceptions i have covered uh, example so i'll go through it first i'll go through the definitions so array index out of bound exceptions when this will come when let's say you are trying to uh, access the index of the array which is not accessed right you will get array index out of bound okay which i will show you through program like how this will come and how we can handle that so you need to just understand you have you have array of let's say three right so this is index zero this is one and this is two you are trying to access the index number three so what you will get array index out of bound exceptions because there is nothing called three here in the memory and you are trying to access it right now third one is the class not found exceptions so you are trying to access the class which is not defined in your project okay so let's say uh, you have something called class dot for name okay that is the another way uh, where you can register your class which i have not covered here it will be a part of uh, collections reflections framework so whenever you have a class and you are trying to access and which is not exist in your project you will get class not found exceptions then something called file not found exceptions you are trying to access a file okay let's say i have a excel sheet in my local I'm, and i'm trying to access programmatically and if if file does not exist i will get exceptions type as a file not found exceptions or any text file or any other file which does not exist in my system i will get file not found input output so input output then uh, it, it, this is the example of checked exceptions when an input output operations failed or interrupted right this is the example of checked exceptions again this i will tell you through exam interrupted exceptions so interrupted exceptions are thrown this is again the example of checked exceptions so this is the example of checked exceptions this is also the example of checked exceptions uh, this exam uh, the first one is the example of unchecked exceptions ac unchecked these are all runtime this is unchecked class not found this is unchecked okay and these are the checked now interrupted exceptions so let's say you are working on a program like and you know that the execution will start from the main method and main is what main is a thread okay main is the thread it is nothing but it is the thread so if you interrupt the thread you will get interrupted exceptions this is example of checked exceptions this compiler will tell you then and there no such field exceptions it is thrown when class does not contains the fields or variable as specified okay this will come when you are trying to access a field or variable which is not specified okay now no such method exceptions it will throw when you are trying to access the method which is not found okay null pointer exceptions will come when 
you are refer referring to a member of object which is not initialized or the reference is null you will get a null pointer exceptions here just try to understand the name guys okay everything i'll explain you through program like when this will come and how this will come here just try to understand remember the name so people will ask you you can tell in the interview number format exceptions right when could not convert one number to a other number you will get a number format exceptions you are trying to convert one number to the other number if you are not able to do that you will get a number format exceptions a runtime exceptions any exceptions which happens during runtime we call it as a runtime a string index out of bound exceptions a string index out of bound exceptions it is thrown by the string class method to indicate that an index is either negative than the size of index right so when it will come when the index is either negative than the size of index you will get a string index out of bound exception so this first try to remember okay do not try to understand try to remember these are the type of exceptions you have people will ask you the okay they will ask you tell me the checked exceptions and unchecked so you can see that ac unchecked arithmetic is the unchecked this is nothing but runtime add index unchecked okay then class not found unchecked input output checked interrupted checked no such field runtime runtime is nothing but unchecked no such field these are all runtime null pointer runtime number format runtime these are all runtime okay uh, a string index out of bound runtime okay runtime is nothing but unchecked exceptions right in the next video we will try to understand how these exceptions will come in what scenario we can get these kind of exceptions thank you guys thank you for watching this